Hi everyone, I'm FM Greeno. Welcome along to episode 30 of the Greeno Tour. This is my FM21 Journeyman, where I can only manage teams that I have seen play live or been to their stadiums for some reason. We are at Luton Town, and I've just had a bumper pay rise. So, the powers that be have obviously been very impressed with our start to the season and offered me a significant raise in salary. If you remember when we signed the contract, we moved from 2.9k a week that we were on at Honved up to 3.7k a week. So a little bit of a bump, but not an enormous amount. I'm on eight and a half grand a week now, so they've more than doubled my salary. Only about, what, 18 games into my time here at Luton? So that's pretty impressive. Whether they still think I'm worth that pay rise or not is a matter of some debate, I would imagine. Uh, we were last together for the Aston Villa game, a 0-0 draw. Pretty decent result, that. We then travelled up to Barnsley, got another 0-0. Arsenal in the Carabao Cup, they beat us 3-1. We actually took the lead with about 15 minutes to go, but then just couldn't hold it. Arsenal were just too strong and really came at us. We beat Cardiff 2-1, which was a decent result, I think. And then... What looks like a bit of a sticky patch, but I'm told, I think it was pretty good. Reading 1-1 away from home. They're top of the league. Blackburn just came down from the Premier League. Away there, we got a draw as well. We've drawn at home to Fulham, which isn't too bad. Beat QPR 1-0. The one disappointing result is in our last game where we lost 2-1 to Brentford. So what that means for the table is we are no longer top. Reading are, like I say, atop of the tree right now. West Ham in just behind them. And we're just two points away from West Ham. So we're still in the chasing pack. Only one defeat in the league all season. That last game against Brentford. So hopefully we can put that right today. We're away against Preston. Here's how we're lining up for the Preston game today. We've had to make one change at right back. Monoga comes in because James Bree is currently suspended. Racked up too many yellow cards. Uh, Barrington Brown is just back from a little knock. So he's going to take his place on the bench today. We're going to stick with Devine at left back and Elanga at left wing. Uh, but obviously Barrington Brown can come in and play in either of those roles very, very effectively. So a very, very handy bloke to have on the bench. Off to deep down. So I'm looking forward to this game. Apparently it's a bit of a, uh, a contrast in styles between the two teams. We're known as a counter-attacking side and Preston are very much a possession-based tactic they have apparently scott parker is their manager so it'll be interesting to see how it goes oh it looks like we've got a knock already and panzu's got a bruised ankle i think we'll just keep him on for now and just keep an eye on him mahoney with a good ball in that's a great header from lockyer unfortunately not quite on target we've not been playing too badly i don't think even though we're uh, only mid table in the form table now um I say some of the results where we've only got draws are against really good opposition. So uh, I can't really complain too much about that, especially given the fact we're not really supposed to be at this top end of the table anyway. Opportunity here for Preston by the looks of it. Barkhausen out on the right hand side. That's a good challenge from Elanga. But the ball comes in nonetheless. Good save, O'Leary. So I'm really pleased about that contract situation as well. That was a real surprise. I don't think I've ever been offered a new contract so quickly at a club. And certainly not one with such a massive leap in pay. More than double. Get up. That's not a penalty. So yeah, so that was really, really uh, welcome. Oh, Balogun. That's a terrible ball. So I don't know what uh, what you can spend eight grand a week on in Luton. But we'll be giving it a go. This looks like another opportunity coming for Preston. They're knocking the ball around on the edge of our box. What a hit. But disallowed. The offside? Must have been, I guess. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, he just strayed off there on the left-hand side. Came back onside when he walloped it home. O'Leary probably should have done a little bit better there. But it didn't count anyway, so who cares? So, just over halfway through the first half. Pretty even at the moment. Mahoney, what an opportunity. Well, he was offside anyway, but goodness me, how did he not get that free header on target? Yeah, seeing as they're supposed to be a possession-based side, we're doing pretty well here. We're, well, they're just edging the possession now. 
a little bit ahead on shots and what have you. So uh, we might need to do something a little bit different in the second half. I think Mpanzu probably is going to come off before too long. His, uh, his fitness really is taking a bit of a knock. He's on the ball here. Can he do something useful? Gives it out to Minoga on the right back position. Into Morel. And Panzu there. That's a good ball into Balogun. Elanga. Oh, should have hit the target. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Balogun. He's not been in great form recently. If you remember, he came in and was looked an absolute superstar in the first four or five games he played. He had seven goals in that time. And since then, he's really struggled. In fact, his last five games, he's only got a 6.5 average. So we've had to have him in for a little bit of a chat and tell him to buck his ideas up. Uh, it doesn't seem to be making too much of a difference today, to be honest. But uh, hopefully in the second half, he can uh, up his game a little bit. Oh, off the bar. Goodness me, we're flying by the seat of our pants here a little bit, aren't we? They're having the better of the opportunities, certainly. So we get into half time. And I think we're going to have to have a little bit of a chat with the boys here. We're going to point the finger and say we're not happy with the performance. Because basically we're not. And we are going to make that one alteration. And we're going to bring Luke Berry on. He's a very adequate replacement. And out for the second half. So we're going to give it 10-15 minutes before we start doing anything too drastic in terms of the formation or you know going to a more attacking oh more attacking mentality langer should probably have scored there i think mahoney with a corner can't beat the first man it comes back out to him can he get a second cross in no it's blocked by barkhausen and cleared out for a throw in a positive start to the second half then yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if we can maintain something like this kind of form and get up into around the playoff places come Christmas time, how much of a difference that's going to make in terms of the players we can try and bring in in January? I think uh, it could be a big window for us. We've still got some money to spend. We didn't uh, spend anything like our transfer budget in the summer. So we've got quite a bit of cash in the bank to spend. And it'd be nice in January if we could bring a, a decent name or two in. Just to boost things up a little bit. Good effort there from Morel from about 20 yards. Just curls it over the bar. So we're holding our own in the second half. Unfortunately, shots on target are not too great. So we might have to have a little bit of a change of the way we're approaching the, the box. Uh, maybe we're shooting from a bit too far out. We're up, coming up to the 65 minute mark though. Mahoney's getting a little tired. Alanga as well. Alanga's not having a great game. So maybe Barrington Brown is a good choice to go on for him. That might be what we do next. Good ball in. There's Balogun. Oh, he's knocked it over the bar. Come on, man. Right. Time for a change or two. I'll be back in a moment. So we did make that change. Bringing Barrington Brown on for Ilanga on the left wing position. Uh, we've just shifted the mentality forward a tiny bit. We've gone from a cautious to a balanced mentality. Uh, so hopefully that will help us going forwards a little bit without compromising us too much at the back. He says, as we concede, marvellous stuff. <sighs> it went through us like a hot knife through butter there, didn't they? The defence seems to be set up pretty well. He just finds a gap there, really, in between the left back and the centre half. And that ball into him is absolutely weighted perfectly. He's onside. Unfortunately, our centre-half was caught on his heels a little bit there. Right, so we need a shout here. We're going to demand more, and we are going to go attacking. Hopefully, we can turn this around a little bit. It's not been a bad performance, but I don't think we can argue that Preston have probably edged it. Oh, good effort there by them. Just fizzes over the bar. And you can see in this second half, they've pushed on a lot more than we have. And have really kind of dominated the game. So, we have an opportunity here though. Mahoney up to Balogun. Nearly loses the ball, but manages to retain it. Out to Divine in the left back position. Finds Kean and Dewsbury Hall. Into Morel. Out wide to Minoga. Can he get a cross in? No, it's blocked. That's disappointing. But it looks like we're going to have an opportunity here to build again. Back to O'Leary, the goalkeeper. 
Finds Cometio. That's a nice ball into Berry. Good run by Balogun. Oh, he's put it wide. Come on, man. Where is the Balogun gone that we had in those first few games? There we are. Just five minutes to go. Right, it's time to make another alteration. We are going to take Joe Morell off because he's tired. And we're going to bring a striker on. James Collins will come on, play as a deep line forward. We're going to move the ball forward really quickly and see if this makes any kind of difference at all. Of course, we all know this means no highlights between now and the end of the game. Looks that way, doesn't it? Unfortunately, we go down to a 1-0 defeat. Thankfully, that result hasn't done us too much harm towards the top of the table. Reading won, so they've gone a little bit further clear. But West Ham lost, so we're still only two points behind them. The chasing pack are getting a little bit closer. You can see Cardiff have drawn level with us on points. Palace just a point behind, and Preston now just one point behind them. In terms of where we're going to come back, I think Boxing Day is always a nice game of football. We all enjoy a Boxing Day fixture. And Palace away. Palace are obviously just a point behind us currently. That sounds like an interesting game, and one I think, yeah, we definitely ought to enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's game. Um, it wasn't brilliant, <laughs> if we're honest. Uh, there's obviously some work to be done. I think I might have to take Balogun out of the firing line. Uh, maybe we'll bring James Collins in and go a little bit more physical up front for a little while. But if you did enjoy the episode, please drop a like on there for me. And if you've got any comments about this series, uh, the episode today... How things are going at Luton, any hints or tips you have for me if you've used this team before, I'd love to see them in the comment section below. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, come and hop on the Greeno bus. There is plenty of room for you all. It just remains for me to thank you for watching, and we'll see you on Boxing Day at Selhurst Park. Bye for now.